Hello, friends. How's it going? Uh, figured we should be showing you some new cool stuff from Pillars of Eternity. I don't actually know exactly where I'm going to be going today. I'm sure you'll give me some ideas as to where I can go. Uh, we're going to be showing some things from the early game, but not quite as early as we've shown before. This is a little ways after the first town, Gilded Vale. And yeah, it's uh, we're going to be in the Stronghold, so I can maybe show off a little bit of the Stronghold. We can also go into the Endless Paths of Adnua and uh, do some wilderness stuff, some town stuff. I actually don't have much of a plan, and hopefully I won't get horribly destroyed because I am playing on hard. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to go right in, uh, get going with it. Oh, did you guys miss the upstairs? You know what, I'll show this again. So here's the Stronghold interface, um, in case you didn't see this before. Uh, we're still working on some of this for visibility, uh, so you can see some of the upgrades before you build them. But you don't have to do the Stronghold, by the way, if you don't want to. Uh, it's something that's optional as part of our uh, backer rewards. So if you like the Stronghold, there is a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. Um, it's a good money sink, and there's lots of little gameplay opportunities you can have and stuff you can do. But like I said, I'm going to go out in the world now. Mm. So the area that I'm in right now, this is uh, Cadnua. So Cadnua is your stronghold. And when you first arrive here, it is pretty run down. Typical, typical stronghold, and you can restore a lot of stuff from it. So yeah, Kednua is a stronghold you acquire in the first eh, third of the game. Uh, can be pretty early depending on how you play through things. And like I said, you can get to the stronghold and not really you don't really need to do much with it if you don't want to, but you have a lot of opportunities for things that you can upgrade within it and little gameplay moments that you can go through. Hmm, all right guys, do you think that we should go out into the wilderness, or do you think we should go down into the endless paths of Adnua? I can do either right now. I might die, depending on where we go, but let me know what you think. All right, so what I'm gonna do, this is looking pretty split, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna do a little bit of Adnua, and then I'll go out in the wilderness. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better now. I've also restored, oh, that's oh. not good. <laughs> that's partially restored. Oh. So your stronghold actually sits over the top of the Endless Paths of Adnua. And as you come back to the stronghold over time, you can keep going down into the lower levels. And because it is a 15 level mega dungeon, oh. we, uh, we provide shortcuts. So if you've actually gone down five or six or seven or eight or 10 levels, uh, there is a shortcut that allows you to get back uh, more quickly. Cool. I've already cleared this level, so I'm gonna try to hustle on down to the second level. Should we descend farther, we will find some real history to uncover that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I know. He was in possession of the Tanvi Orator, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I have seen it in ruins, alongside the Granos Jade, scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Lauta. He must have held the words in high regard, or perhaps he was even the author. So Kana is a chanter and a scholar, and he is exploring the ruins of Kadenua and uh, the endless paths of Adnua because he wants to find some answers to an old story that he's learned about. Uh, he's very interested in it. So as you go down into the endless paths, you can sort of help Kana figure out uh, the stuff that he's looking for. If my sources are correct, the Branos may have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library, or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Let's be off. Oh. 
All right, we're gonna head on down. I've not been down to this level on hard. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be okay. All right, we already got some dudes down here. I'll see what I can find. Oh no, not these guys. All right, uh, let's see here. Take a shot. Yeah, you can take a shot. Me too. And uh, let's go. Hmm. Hmm, that worm is bad, but this dude is worse. Oh, he's paralyzed. Oh, thanks for that shot there at the end. Oh, that went decently well. Get some Zorup tongue. Delicious. Mm, worm wing. Mm, cool. All right, some ingredients. A lot of these are ingredients. Put them in the stash. Yeah, Zorup tongues. Actually, um, let's see here. Sure. I'll add a burning lash here. Why not? Hey. Hello. Hello. Good. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Buddy. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> All right, can you disarm this? Okay. I can't disarm that. She has my highest uh, mechanics, and it's not high enough. I should have put more points in it. All right, let's try this way. Good. Okay, let's see here. Uh oh, that went that went south really quickly. Durance is very bad at stealth. He shouldn't have been in there. Hmm. Probably switch to a staff. Okay, that was a small group, thankfully. Nice and quiet. Good. Traps around here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, there, buddies. Hold on. Yeah, there are auto pause options. Actually, I'll turn one on, and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Let's pause on hidden object found. Because if there's one trap down here, there are probably more than one trap down. Huh? Okay. Eh, her stealth is not quite good enough. Um. What? How about you just die? Ooh, wait, no. Here we go. Yeah. Let's just have Durance blow this dude away. Cool. Here's a lesson <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, he's paralyzed. That sucked. Oh, it's a skirmishers. That was stupid. Huh? Well. Oh my god, he's getting brutalized. Hey. Following your lead. Hmm. <laughs> that guy's gotta die. Oh. Is it for Darren's? Hmm. This isn't 
Mm, no, level two. Not quite good enough. I don't want to get any closer than that. Okay, that could have gone better, but I guess it I guess it could have gone worse. I could have wiped. <laughs> All right. There you go, Durance. Oh, some Abra, that's cool. It's a baby teeny worm. Tiny white worm. Cool. I didn't actually I did not know where that was placed. And you can be my little my little buddy. Oh. Hey. There we go. There's my little my little buddy. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Do I want to go down or do I want to deal with these guys? Well, who's actually here? I can take these guys out. I can take these guys out. And you can shoot them. All right, this level's not so bad. Even on hard, it's not so bad. I think maybe I'm underestimating it, though. We'll see. <laughs> hey. Fight pain and suffering. All right, Durrance. Good. Oh, who's this? Oh, I didn't go down this way. Who is this? Oh, God. Ah, no. uh, uh, that's not good. It's the opposite of good. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a breastplate. Nice. <coughs> oh, great. Curses. Love it. Ouch. That guy's mad. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just take that. What is that? So we got... Uh, where did that go? Oh, did I put that in the stash? Yeah. Medium. 40. Pierce-proofed. Pierce-proofed is nice. Hmm. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that seems a little better. Yeah, nice. Nice. I'll have some of that. Hey. I got a rest. Durance is, Durance is taking a beating. Okay, I didn't mean to sneak up on you, I just, well, you seemed preoccupied. So, yeah, we have companions, and companions at various points in the game will interject and talk to you. Uh, sometimes it's after you rest or after you complete a certain quest. Uh, sometimes they won't talk to you, but they'll let you know that they have something to talk about, and then you can actually talk to them just through the interface. 